So in this video, I wanted to take a quick look at a bit of a historic oddity called the Sailor Chalana, that's C-H-A-L-A-N-A, -A -A, in its mechanical pencil form. It's also sold in a ballpoint and a fountain pen. I happen to have it in mechanical pencil in pretty good condition. So I figured I'd do a quick video about it, which is an interesting pen. So of course, it's made by Sailor. That's the company that makes a lot of great fountain pens like the uh, 1911 well as many other products. They have a line of mini pens and pencils called the Chalana. You can see the original price was 2,500 yen. That's about $25. But I think this pen's from the 80s or so, but the line itself has been made since I think around the 60s. Uh, made in Japan, sort of a higher end model. So 2,500 yen is not cheap, but it's not gonna break the bank either. But like 2,500 yen, think about it in the 60s and 70s, you're looking at a pretty high-end pencil. This is the original uh, sticker, which is very cool. I bought it new old stock. I uh, got a pretty good deal on it on eBay or something like that. So here it is. It is like, it's comically small. When you see it online, you know it's small, but you don't really, you don't really get comparison pictures online which I think is uh, one of the things I want to point out in this video. It, it is very, very tiny. So these markings are half an inch. So it's one, two, three, four and a half inches long. And that's including the uh, end piece there. Here's it next to a full-size mechanical pencil. That's a uh, Tombow Monograph Zero. And I'll line up the back end. You can see the Tombow absolutely dwarfs the Chalana and here's a Chalana next to a uh, Fisher PR4 refill. So you can see it's like pretty much right in between the size of a refill and a standard pencil. Uh, so, uh, sorry, a standard uh, pencil, yeah. So here's a Chalana. We have a, uh, I believe this is an enameled body. It's a little bit hard to tell with this if it's like metal or enameled, but I believe it's an enameled body. This one is kind of an old school brown, like a 70s brown, made by Sailor in Japan, 0.5 millimeter, metal clip, has, uh, it's a useful clip, it's quite stiff, it's very well made, and then we have the metal front piece, long metal, uh, quite elegant, clearly extended, very thin. And there's a tiny little button there. It is also metal. You could remove it. You can see it's full size. I really did get this new old stock. You'd see this is the uh, original eraser, never been used, quite cool. Ferrule right there. Uh, does not have a cleaning rod metal insides there and I haven't taken this pen apart because it doesn't seem to want to come apart in the middle and then this front piece doesn't really want to come off either I suspect that the front piece does come off but I'm a little bit hesitant to uh, really wrench it because the pen is in such nice shape or the, the pencil is in such nice shape and I've been enjoying kind of playing around with it so I know if I open it up, I'm probably going to break it. So here's the click. Pretty firm click. Lead comes out nicely. Like I said, it's 0.5 millimeter. And uh, I would say on the whole, it's a really well-made pen. I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on the fountain pen variety. This is much harder to find and much more expensive. Plus, many of them are in really... Uh, pretty poor conditions. So you really have to think through if it's a good buy or not. So the pen is, uh, or the pencil is the Sailor Chalana 0.5 millimeter. And this is a elegant mini pen or pencil, depending on what you're going to get, in this case, the pencil. I don't know that it's marketed as a ladies' pencil or anything like that. I think it was more just a, a portable pen or pencil. 
Uh, it, you know, some of them are much more ornate. It is definitely a higher end type of pen or pencil. Uh, but to me, the ones that have survived are just sort of pocketable pencils like the Tombow, the, it's not the Tombow, like the Zebra Mini, the T5 or the T6, and the other ones we've looked at in the past couple weeks. I think it's just kind of an interesting historic piece. Uh, too skinny for me really to use more than just some quick jotting notes down. Maybe something you'd throw in your bag or something like that. But it's a little bit too expensive for that. It's one thing to throw your, you know, Zebra T5 or whatever that was in your bag and it's a six bucks. But when these things are going for, uh, you know, over $30 online, it's probably not something you're just going to casually throw in your bag. It's more something you would put inside of a journal or something, uh, maybe inside of a, like a handbag or a larger kind of a European style wallet or like a zippered wallet or something like that. If you want to pull out a, a cool historic showpiece. Uh, anyway, it just, uh, I've been keeping my eye on these challenges for a little while. It's an interesting pen and pencil series. One that really doesn't seem to have really uh, resonated with the collectors anymore, but they are still kicking around. It's been pretty interesting to check it out. So yeah, that's the Sailor Chalana mechanical pencil. Thanks for watching.